This is Jim for Nature's Nectar LLC. We're making a little video today. I looked at this colony with the intent of doing a reversal. It's a little on the weak side, but the one thing I did notice that the bees were all off to one side. And then when the bees get all off to one side like this, in the if there's no brood production, it's really not an issue. They, they're just doing great. But now it's warming up. You know, it's around the 31st of March. And uh, what I really want to do is try to bring that brood more to the center of the boxes so that they can expand their brood nest a little easier that way. If you're just all trapped on one side, it doesn't work that good as far as to expand their brood nest. So being that it's not real cold today, it's not windy at all, I can pull a couple frames without having any difficulties. So we're going to smoke the bees. Now this particular cover, if you didn't, this is called a Velcro cover. You can see it's it's it actually it's attached. There's Velcros. It just wraps around the whole hive, and 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 then it's got pink styrofoam. And we have our top entrance there for the uh, um, for their winter entrance. And I we've been feeding it. I do have a feeder pail on here. But you can see, if I open this up here, see the bees are all off to the side. I'd rather have them more towards the center. So let's just uh, pull a couple frames and we'll see what we can do here. And then we can, uh, we can uh, see how much food is in the colony at the same time. And there's some dead bees and everything. A little bit of mold here. Uh, whenever you have bees and, 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 and if there's some mold in there, you could just uh, dust off, we'll take your bee brush and maybe lightly dust it off. Lightly dust off the uh, mold, but there's no reason to uh, get too crazy. The bees will clean that all up. So I'm just going to pull a couple of frames here. And there's some dead bees in here. Don't save that comb you know we don't want to do it this now this isn't your best frame here there's a bunch of drone comb here you can tell it's drone comb because of this the cells are bigger than the worker are so that this isn't the greatest comb this would be should be on the purge list although this side is really nice so we do have pollen patties that we have on here and they have taken the pollen quite good i'm just gonna just i pulled out a couple frames now I'm just going to methodically move one frame at a time and just slide it over. And we have the mystery smoker going. And then we'll come back at another time and clean all the dead bees off the bottom. Plus, by doing this, we put the bees right underneath the feeder pail so they can get access to that syrup a little easier. And you can see why they are all on this end. This is the last frame of honey in here. All those frames I've been moving, they don't think they have much at all for honey. So they do need feed. I just want to pull this out. Let's take a look and see what's happening. You can see they took syrup down. You can see all of our syrup glistening there. So they have taken that down. A little bit of honey there. Still not a strong colony though. All right, so you can see some brood there. Some cat brood. So as time goes on here, we'll get uh, you know, this bee here has just emerged. See how white, light colored it is? When they see them really light like that, I know that she's just recently emerged. Sometimes if you're looking at your bees and you can't see underneath them at all, just blow on them and they get out of your way. So you can see the brood in there. The brood looks well. It's all nice pearly white. So these are looking good. So as we just got to give them, we need some warmer weather so they can really get rocking. And if I 
if I have a strong colony, I would probably give this colony a frame of brood just to help boost it a little bit because this is, this is a little on the weak side. And now I'm just going to add these frames back in. I'll put this one on the outside. That's got the funky comb. We'll put that on the outside. All right, we're just going to leave it like that, and I'm going to put my inner cover back on right here. Keep the pollen. They're going to need another pollen patty. There's still a little syrup in here. I didn't turn it over, so it didn't lose its vacuum. So that's why I left it, just purposely left it like that. If I would have turned it over, it would have lost its vacuum, and I would have had to fill it up right away. And we're just going to put everything right back the way it was. And that's it. Well, hopefully in another uh, another week we'll start seeing some more bees there. And like I say, I think this needs a, a, a little bump of bees to help it along. But other than that, it should uh, build up. I don't think we'll be able to divide this one, but maybe they'll surprise me. But uh, thanks for watching.